The goal and merit of this project. How can the study of heuristic shed any light on the existing studies of this and inform these studies of this? So in this project for wisdom, I was of course looking at both individual and societal levels of, of um, wisdom in my readings. And I wanted to link that to fast and frugal heuristics from the first day it was clear to me and it becomes more and more clear and, and I've seen some, uh, some posts on our blog and on the website that they would agree with the idea that wisdom is frugal, that it involves ignorance in, in many domains. So the first subject is, can practical wisdom be defined or, or illustrated or explored more um, in, in the light of strategic decision making? And a strategic decision making here would be the use of fast and frugal heuristics. And subject two concerns the role of uncertainty and knowledge. And there are two concepts that appear everywhere in um, the literature of wisdom. And I, would, I was most intrigued by the ideas of, on the one side in the literature you see emergence of wisdom, and on the other side you can see emergence of reality in discussions of knowledge and uncertainty. And I think that there is a link between them. So the current stage is that we did a comparative study on the first question, on the first subject, putting Berlin wisdom paradigm versus fast and frugal heuristics versus Ardell's empirical alternative to Berlin paradigm. And on the other side, uh, emerging wisdom, I am now working on how social rationality can inform societal wisdom. So looking ahead, looking ahead, I want to look at wisdom and intuition. And I had one question two nights ago. Do we need to be wise to tell wisdom? Because it seems that we just know wisdom by asking people is someone wise or not. But do we need to be wise to tell that or not? But the other question arose yesterday when um, Judith said that, uh, well, there were people who called me and said that they are wise, and everybody laughed, and, and we don't want to put them in our uh, sample, and, and I don't understand why. Why can't a wise person tell that they are wise? Why, why does it need to come from outside? Looking far ahead, I am making this analogy, this relationship between visions of rationality and forms of wisdom. Bounded rationality for an individual wisdom conception, social rationality for societal wisdom, and finally ecological rationality for content sensitive norms, which is a, a term that I have just coined in, in the last paper that, I, that I'm writing now. We are used as economists and as decision theorists to think of bounded rationality as a deviation from full rationality. Now there are fundamental troubles with this way of thinking. To me, the trouble comes from the fact that bounded rationality models that we have created are confused because they cannot stand on the current ground which is based on cognitive-based or epistemological uncertainty. It calls for another notion of uncertainty. They cannot stand on their legs of teleological action or goal orientation and cognitive limitations. And so there are other legs that are needed here. My happy, boundedly rational individual looks like this. It ha she has a leg of goal creation and playfulness and non-omniscience, comfortable with uncertainty. And it stands on a ground of inherent, or in philosophical tongue, ontological uncertainty. And so my question now, in the context of my wisdom project is, can this creature, which I'm trying to formalize for the past few years, can a wise individual 
instead of a modification of fully rational agents, replace our rational agents. 